हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे टॉपिक इज एनवायरमेंटल मॉडिफिकेशन फॉर बायोरेमेडिएशन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बायोरेमेडिएशन एंड आल्सो द बायोरेमेडिएशन ऑफ मरीन ऑयल पोल्यूटेंट्स एक्सेट्रा सो uh earlier we have discussed about the various processes like bio augmentation okay bio stimulation where basically microorganisms are used for the treatment of a polluted uh, compound into a non polluted one or we can say the conversion of toxic component into the non toxic one basically takes place so here factors like oxygen supply nutrients concentration temperature pH pressure salinity etc of the contaminated area is modified in the favor to the activity of the degrading microbes so basically degrading microbes or we can say the uh, bioremediation uh, process requires various microbes okay for the conversion of the pollutants into the tox less toxic forms so basically they require various conditions so that they can work actively or optimally okay so in any process optimization for biodegradation it is always necessary to investigate the effects of the environmental conditions and optimize the process in relationship to all the relevant environmental conditions so basically we have to test whether a particular microbes certainly we can say bacteria or fungi whether act in a particular environment or not or that is the environmental conditions are suitable for its activity or not so basically environmental modification needs or it is the process where we have to provide certain environmental conditions or the modifying conditions for that uh, particular microbe so that they can perform their activity easily and more effectively so there are various factors on which the microbes okay depend upon for their activity of the bioremediation so first is temperature so there is always a temperature range at which the microorganisms grow and survive that is there is a temperature range of minimum that is below which they can't perform their work or an optimum temperature that is the best or the suitable temperature and the maximum survival temperature that is above that a particular microbe can't survive so extremes of temperature affect both the microbial growth and the microbial enzyme catalyzed reactions as we know uh, these reactions are important for the bioremediation process so extreme that is very high temperature or the maximum of the temperature can affect this properties so with an increase in temperature within the appropriate range microbial metabolism also increase that is due to increase in temperature the process of metabolism in a particular microbe increase and thus the rate of bioremediation process also increase increased temperature also lead to higher solubility of many chemicals and increased fluidity and the diffusion rate so basically whenever in uh, a microbe is involved in the bioremediation process that is whether it is the treatment of oil spills or the heavy metals basically increased temperature leads to more dissolution or more dissolving of the chemical so it will help in increasing the activity of microbes so specialized bioreactors are designed with for, for temperature uh, designed with provision for the temperature control so basically in these bioreactors the uh, activity of increased temperature is basically took place and also microbes will perform their bioremediation process more effectively there then the another factor is ph so ph influences the microbial cell ionic property thus the microbial growth as well so optimum range ph is basically 6 to 7.5 that is we can say though there are some which thrive best at acidic ph that is these are known as acidophiles the microbes or basically the bacteria that uh, uh, work best at the acidic ph that is uh, the range of uh, below 6 basically so they are known as acidophiles ph affects the redox and the solubility of metals also then often lower ph values are required for the metal attachment to the microbial cell surface so basically how a microbe attached to a particular metal surface okay 
for the for example the heavy metal so basically lower ph is required for that property so to provide the best ph conditions buffers are used in the media formulations acids and bases can be added during the bioreactor process so all the conditions of a particular ph that is required by a microbe is provided by a bioreactor processes under bioreactor processes that is adding of buffers acids and bases to test the suitability or the working of a particular microbe and also so uh, the process of bioremediation will took place effectively then the nutrients so nutrients are required for the growth and the metabolisms of microorganisms carbon is the most basic element of living forms as we know and is needed in greater quantities than any other element for example another nutrients that are required by microbes are hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur phosphorus iron calcium and magnesium so all necessary macronutrients that are required by the microorganisms in large quantities and the micronutrients that are required in minute quantities are provided in the reaction media so basically a reaction media is prepared in that nutrients ph adjustment temperature adjustment should be there then moisture it is an another factor so water is required to support the microbial growth and the catalysis cellular chemical reactions occur in aqueous conditions and water is required to ensure the correct osmotic pressure is maintained for the microbial growth so basically water or we can say the moisture is the basic element that is needed for the microbial growth process and the process of bioremediation then electron acceptors so presence of electron acceptors that is the oxygen in aerobic microbes that is aerobic microbes are those which require oxygen for their activity and no3 negative so4 to negative and iron third oxides in case of anaerobic microbes as they do not require oxygen so that they utilize those and also affect the biodegradation process so these are all the factors that affect the bioremediation process of a particular microbe so this is a diagram basically here a contaminant whether it is its nature is electron donor or electron acceptor it require oxygen nutrients and that is nitrogen and phosphorus then microbes microbes require correct temperature and correct ph for their activity okay that is here the environmental modification process took place and at last h2 and co2 are uh, released so yeah this is all about the environmental modification of bioremediation hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel